All right, so now we're going to take on a little bigger one. We're going to go with something that requires more than two tables. So looking over here, here's our question. We're on the home shopping database still. We want to list the names of all of the people who bought a bike. You must start with a description of the bike. You cannot start with a part ID. Now I'm using a text editor, so I can't give you a really good picture. But generally when I ask you questions like that, there's a little screen capture underneath it that'll show you like the first column and row. Uh, and so that's what I've done here. These are our columns, last first description, and our first row of data is, is Adam Sally Bike. I may just give you the column. I may give you a column and a row. Um, but this is a big hint onto what, it's supposed to, what you're supposed to be doing because this is what your final output should look like. All right. So how are we going to build this? Well, first we've got to do is we've got to figure out what we're dealing with. So we need all of the names. And remember, I like to figure out what I need first. So my fields are names of people who bought a bike. So that's probably going to be the first name and last first and last name of all the people who bought a bike. Now, if you remember, we went over to Blackboard and we opened up our ERD. So let's take a look at our ERD and see how this can help us. Well, let's see here. Well, there's a first and a last name, but I need to know all the people who bought a bike. Well, where can I find people who bought a bike? And I've got to come up with a description because I can see here one of my columns is a description. So let's see, it's, uh, it's not in the same table with the name, so it's not a one table. Let's see, this table is connected to HS rep. Nope, no description there. It's connected to customer ID, no description there. Uh, HS line item, no description there. Oh, oh, here it is, description. It's way over here in HS items. But HS items isn't connected to, home sh to, to the HS customer. See, HS cust goes to HS orders, HS items goes to HS line. Um, oh, but HS line is connected to HS orders. So I can follow that connection. I can go, let's see, from HS cust, it goes to HS orders. From HS orders, it goes to HS line item. From HS line item, it goes to HS items. And there's the description. So I got to have all of those tables because I can't, can't jump. Right, I have to follow my connections. No jumping over. So let's see, that means I need an HS cust, HS orders, HS line items, HS items. For sure I need a description, it's called description. So let's put that over here in my column. And for my table, I need, where's my ERD here? I need HS cust, HS line item, HS orders, and HS items. So let's put all those down, HS cust, HS orders, HS line item, HS items. Now, if you remember, we got to decide if we need to name these things. By default, I always like to put the names HS cust dot first, but we wouldn't have to. And we can look at our ERD here and we can see that there's no last or first name in any of the other tables that I'm calling. And there's no description in any of the tables I'm calling. So while it's always a good idea to do this, it's not necessary for any of those fields because they don't appear anywhere else. So we can go ahead, now that we know we got that right, we can go ahead and start our SQL. So we know our fields, excuse me, we know our fields are always selects. We know our tables are always from. What's the next thing is that is that filter, All right? So in this case, we need to know all of the people who bought a bike. So my filter is gonna be a bike. Now how am I gonna do that? Let's go over here and take a look here. So I've got these people, I've got this description, and I'm, I know I'm going to want a description of a bike, but how am I going to do that? Because there's no connector directly from here to there. So I can't say something like where cust ID equals part ID because they're not connected. So I'm going to have to actually connect two multiple tables. I'm going to have to connect this table and this table. 
then connect this table and this table, and then connect this table and this table. We actually got to follow this whole line just to get way over here. And if you think that seems crazy, well, that's why IT guys get a lot of money and IT girls and well, IT monkeys if they ever decide to hire monkeys. Hey, if they can fly to the moon, they can do anything, right? So let's start our connections. Cust ID in HS Cust would have to be equal to Cust ID with a capital I in HS orders. And those have the same name, so we need to make sure that we say what table they're from. So let's pop over here. We know that we're going to say where, because that's our filter, HS cust, cust ID is equal to HS orders, cust ID. All right. So now we've connected from here to here. Now we still can't show a description because we haven't got it in our filter yet. Well, what's our next connection? Well, HS orders order ID is connected to HS line item order ID. Well, that's pretty easy, but we can see they have the same name. So we need to make sure that we're explicit in that here. So where cust ID equals customer ID? Well, we need another one. So that's an and, right? And order ID, so HS orders dot order ID equals HS line item, make sure I'm getting those right, H, this line item, dot order ID. All right, so I've gotten from here to here. I've gotten from here to here. Now I just need to get from here to here. Well, there's another connection and they don't have the same name. So order ID and HS line item is connected to part ID and HS items. And excuse me, HS orders dot order ID is equal to HS items dot part ID. Now I'm not entirely sure I need this HS items dot right here, um, but I said it's it's just good practice to put them in there. It makes it all nice and clear and easy to figure out later if something goes wrong. All right, so I've gotten through right. I've gotten my three ends. I've gotten from, let's see if I can make this a little smaller so we can see it. I went uh, from HS cust cust ID equal to cust ID and HS orders. And HS orders order ID is equal to HS line item ID. And HS line item ID is equal to HS items part ID. So I've driven all the way down the path so now I can actually get my description. That's the only way you can do it. You can't skip those tables in the middle. You always have to go where there's a connection. All right, anything else I need to do? Let's see, I list all the people who have the names of a bike and I need to show that it's a bike, right? Because if I look over here at my description, Let's go down here and look at my data for my, what is that name? HS items, HS items, just items has a bunch of stuff. It doesn't just have bikes, it has dartboards and basketballs and blenders and treadmills. So I need to be explicit that I only want to show people who bought a bike. I don't want to know who bought a blender. So I'm going to need to come down here and do one more and and I'm going to say HS line, excuse me, HS items dot description equals bike. So that will make sure that of this set, because remember right here, we've selected up to here, we've selected everything. It's only when we say where description equals bike that we're going to limit it to just the rows that have a bike. So let's copy that and see if it works for us. And you guys will notice I write it over here before I copy it in here. And uh, I don't do that just for you guys. I do it for me too, because it helps me make sure I understand this stuff. If I have to write it by hand 
before relying on the tools to tell me what's right or wrong. All right, so I've got it all in there. Let's hit go and see if I got everything right. Zero rows. All right, so what did we get wrong? Well, let's look closely at this thing and see if we can figure out what we missed. Let's see, we got a first name and a last name and a description that we selected. We looked at our four tables, right? HS cust, HS orders, HS line item, and HS items. Let's see, we did our where HS cust is cust ID and that it equaled HS orders cust. Oh, look at that. That's not the same, is it? When I take a look at my uh, ERD over here, Cust ID with a capital ID, but it's supposed to be Cust ID with just a capital I. All right, well, there's definitely something we need to fix because it's not going to be able to connect a table that doesn't exist. So let's change that to a table that does exist. Let's hit go now and see how we've done. All right, we must be getting better, right? Because we we're making changes. Let's take a look and see what happened now that we're missing. Let's go up here. Things doesn't want to be cooperative here. I may have to start over. All right. We know that needed to be a D because that's a problem. Let's see. S A H S orders order ID is equal to H S line item order ID and H S. Uh, there we go. There's another problem. That's not the table we're supposed to be connecting next, is it? Here we go. HS orders order ID, right? So we got from HS cust to HS orders. And then we go from HS orders to HS line item. And then we got to go from HS line item to HS sites, but we didn't. We got that order ID again. It should be HS line item order ID. Order ID, the HS part name to part ID. Let's see if we got it now. Yeah, we're still missing something. Let's. All right, so here's where we missed it. It took me a second to find it. Let's take a look at our ERD a little bit closer here. You can see here there's this line. It, I was reading that it went from order ID, but if you look closer, it's actually connected to part num right here. A little hard to read that it's exactly right there, but that's where it is. So our mistake was right here where we were saying HS line items order ID to HS items part ID. What really needs to be is HS part number to HS part ID. So let's make that change. Excuse me, it's all small. Part num. HS items part ID is time description equals bike. And there we go. We can see that we actually got four people with bikes. And uh, we could go back and double check if we really wanted to be sure we had that all right. Um, again, you could write a query and uh, add a couple of columns in here. You could add like one column for every table to make sure they match. Let me give you a quick example of that. So I could come in here and say, uh, Select first last description. And this would get really long in a hurry. But I could also say description and then I could add each of those tables that I'm jumping from. It'd be nice if we put that on up here. So I could also say give me HS cust cust. ID HS order cust ID HS orders order ID HS orders order ID and my HS orders Oh, it's just I got that one, cust ID, order ID, so I need HS line item, 
order ID. What else do I need? I need line item part number. And HS items part ID. Now, by having all of those in there, I can look and make sure everything matches the way they're supposed to. I see a cust ID equals cust ID, order ID equals order ID. Order ID part num equals part num. So I could double check it that way and have all of those extra rows in there. Now you can see why you wouldn't want those in a, in a normal table, that'd be hard to read. But if you wanna make sure you got your homework right, that's one way to do it. Of course, you could also go the long way, which is to go over here and look and see how many people bought bikes and compare each of those numbers. Um, that's kind of a pain. So that's usually what I would do. I would add those in, check and make sure I got all the right stuff. And then you could leave it that way and turn it in if you want to, that's perfectly okay with me. Or you can go back out and take out the ones you don't need. So I can get back over. My mouse doesn't want to let me move back and forth here. Go back out and take out the ones you don't need. And make it all pretty. Yep, that's good. Take that original stuff. Come on, you. And then copy that and put it into your homework. Or hand type it. And that would be good.